Hi there. A frequent way you can trip up in Revit uh, dealing with families and nested families is when you're trying to connect the dots between a nested parameter and the host family. So for example, I have a nested symbol here for a data connection. And this family has a couple of parameters hiding in its type properties. And both of these have been connected to parent parameters, number of cables, etc., etc. If they weren't connected, then when you get to the project, all you're going to see are these. And while you might have a parameter here, you might not be able to make anything happen with the nested family if you haven't connected the dots between the parent family and the child. So the child has to have something in it to control the values for these two, and that's what these are. So this parameter is the number of cables, and I've connected it. Now if you don't have one, you can always add one. And then that parameter gets added to the parent. And then it shows up in the family types dialog itself. Now the other thing that you can, uh, another sort of bonus tip here, is if you are building a series of families, and you have a cover plate, for example, and you want to swap that cover plate out for another family, most people will load the other type and swap it out. But you can just take the existing one, right click on it, and reload but instead of reloading from the existing family, reload from the new one. And if you've built them from the same family origin originally, and you've just saved as, saved as, and modified them, then they just fall in place and land right on top of each other. And because you're reloading the family that's already constrained, it just passes on the information and stays where it's supposed to stay. So if I browse and reload, um, now this family happens to be looking for a network drive, so it's taken a while to bring up the dialog box. Uh, but if it's going to take too long, I may just bail out and not bother to do it, but <coughs> give it a couple seconds. Well, you don't need to wait a minute for this thing to find, find out that the file's not where it thinks it is. So, anyway, just reload, and you can browse and find what you need to find more, more readily, and replace it more quickly than loading and replacing and then getting rid of the ones you don't need anymore. Hope it helps.